I'm going to take you through a process of how to get subtitles onto your videos. I've had a few people asking me this question. So I'm going to share with you how to do that, or how, certainly how I do that. So the first thing that I use is a tool called Mavavi Video Converter. It's this one here. Um, if you go and buy it now, then it might be a totally different version, like 8, 9, or 10 by now. Uh, but I've got Mavavi Video Converter 7. <clears throat> now... When I bought this, I thought that I might need the entire Mavavi video suite, which they have, um, but I didn't need that. All I needed was the converter to do this particular thing. So um, it's a considerably uh, less amount of money just to have that one particular part. I think I paid about £150 to get the full suite, when actually it was only about 50 just to get that one bit. I haven't used anything of the others yet, so... Um, this should be all that you need for, for certainly getting those subtitles onto your videos. So um, the, if you go and get Mavavi Video Converter, if you type in mavavi.com or just type in Mavavi into Google, I'm sure it will have it for you. But this is what it looks like when you open it up. Now, all you have to do is drag your files in here to get the process started. So I'm going to click on this and find the video that I want to get transcribed and also create the captions for. Now, in the industry, subtitles are called, they're called closed captions, okay? So it's closed captioning as a service that you're looking for. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna close caption, and I um, get the subtitles, for my full five-day sprint. So I've already pre-recorded the content, and I'm gonna get the subtitles for these videos. So all I've gotta do is go in, and now it's got in there, I can edit it. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to export it as a sound file. Now I've already um, chopped the front and back off of it. I actually recorded this um, into iMovie first of all, but I usually I create this on my mobile phone. So let's assume you've created your videos on your mobile and you can pull them into here and you can actually already edit the front and back um, just by, and you can you can get videos. There's there's a whole suite of tutorials that come with this. But um, if you see this um, uh, scissors button, you, like it says, click the scissors icon to cut the clip at the current position. So you can watch it at a current position. You say right, okay, at zero zero thirty two, I want to cut the um, the beginning of that off. All right. So you can use this for for cutting the front and back off. But the part that you want to do at this moment in time. Now, I only have to do this because I don't have great internet where I am right now. Um, but if you've got really good internet, then you could just upload your video direct to the place that I'm going to talk to you about next. Because I don't have great video, what I want to do is just export it as a sound file, first of all, which is an MP3. So you can see here, with Mavavi Video Converter, you've got lots of different options depending on how high you want the resolution. You can create videos that are only for iPad, which will be much smaller in size. You can create them for YouTube, which will be smaller in size. But if you're creating videos, then you're going to productize them, and you want really, really super quality videos, or you know it's going to go on a big screen. You don't want to create tiny little videos where the resolution is going to be poor. You want that to be... <coughs> viewed as big as you can. So there are all these different options and when you click on one you'll notice that this here is sharing with you um, how big that video is going to be. Okay so uh, I want to create it just sound. I don't want any um, uh, video with it at this point. I want this file to be as small as possible so that when I go and upload it into um, Rev, which I'm going to show you next, which is that's where you get the actual subtitles from. Um, it's going to take a lot less time for it to upload than if I'm uploading a big chunky video, okay? So um, I've now got that as an audio file. It's automatically um, exported that for me. No, it hasn't. That was a different video. <laughs> it just so happens that the video that I was converting then just popped up at the same time. Right, so convert. That's now converting it. It'll give you a little um, ding. There you go. And it's now showing me where it saved it. Because I've already told it down here that I want to save it to my desktop. So that's now on my desktop. Um, that's now the full um, audio file of the video. 
So I'm now going to go into Rev. Now, let me go back to Rev.com. This is what you'll look at when you first go to Rev.com as a screen. Um, they do transcriptions, they do captions, and they do translation. Now, I use captions. It's closed captioning that we want, remember, for subtitles. But what I like about it is when I order captions, I also get the transcription. So it's like I'm getting two for the price of one. So um, let's go to captions here. So I want to get started. Now it says 24 hour turnaround and if you've got a massive video then it probably will be. But most of the videos that I put up there, no thank you, most of the videos that I put up there are usually between two and five minutes and I get them back within about half an hour. I mean they don't take very long to come through at all. So let's get started. And this is where it's going to ask me for certain information. And part of that information is to upload that file. So I'm going to go upload my file. Now remember, you could upload your video direct to this if you've got good internet. But if, like me, you don't have great internet and um, you know, you're, you're in a, a place where um, it's going to take you forever to upload a three or 400 meg video, then um, that's why I create my sound files so that it uploads really, really fast. And then you're talking about, see, look how long it's taking for this screen to upload. <laughs> that's how bad the internet is where I am right now. Okay, so you've got all these options of where you can pick your video from but, or your, your file. But obviously, I saved mine to my desktop, so here we go. Now that's going to give me the choice. I can upload several files if I want to right now because I have got five videos that I'm going to upload. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just going to show you how to do this one. So that's now going to upload the sound file to rev.com. Okay, so now it's all uploaded. Um, you're going to then see this screen once your file's uploaded. And what you want is the SRT file. Now you've got all these different versions, but you really want that SRT file. It's going to deliver the, sub, the, the transcript anyway, okay? Um, you can give it a reference name, for example. This, um, I will just call this Holidays Day 1, so that when they send it to me, I know um, what <coughs> file to, to associate that to. So you're just going to go to Checkout. Um, it's six minutes worth of video, which means it's six dollars. Um, gonna sign in there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do PayPal. Okay, that's my order successfully gone through. So you can leave the screen open if you want to. I tend to come back, I look at my order history, and then, I mean, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of those, and you can see it's in progress. When that says complete, you can click on it and go and access your file. So I'm gonna wait for them to send it back, and then I'll be back with that. <laughs> Okay, so I've just received an email telling me that the caption has now been completed. So I'm going to come back in here and refresh my screen. And what we should see at the top of the screen when it uploads is that that order is now complete. Here we go. So I'm going to click on that order. As you can see here, reference, it says holidays. So the, the five day sprint that I've created is all around how to systemize your marketing so that you can actually have a holiday. So I called it holidays just as one word that would really tie me into that. And then I'd know if I ever need to go back to that um, caption file or go back and get the transcript. You can go back to these orders at any time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna now go here. There's the original document that I've uploaded. That's the sound file that I uploaded. And now I can go to download. <clears throat> this is where, you know, I've created the, the closed caption file, but it's actually given me all of these options as well. And to be quite honest, I don't know what any of these other things do. But what I do want is the transcript and the SRT file. The SRT file is going to be your subtitle file, your closed caption file. The transcript is what I'm going to use to then create a workbook to go with this um, particular um, part of the, the, the sprint because not only am I getting these sprints up into the Brand Builders Club, the Brand Builders Club are receiving these sprints first, we're also productizing every single one of our sprints so that we're going to get them up into our training academy, the How to Build a Brand University online and um, so you'll be able to go through them um, via the university as well at any time. So uh, you know, I think that's something that's really important for you to note is that you know even if you start using Facebook as your kind of membership website at the beginning, 
it's not always going to be there potentially. So you want to make sure that you're duplicating your content, save your content somewhere else so that you can always have another avenue for people to get to it. And um, the university is one of the ways that we're going to do that. And we're also building an app to make your experience even better. So uh, there's lots of awesome stuff that's coming, but you've got to do what you've got to do right now. So um, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to click download. And you'll see that's now um, given me a zip file. I'm going to double click on that and it will show me I've got these two files here. OK, now you're probably not going to be able to open these files. If you click on it, <clears throat> it's not going to um, enable you to, to, to look at it in the conventional way. But what you can do is right click and open it with something else. You know, you can open it as a text file, for example. Um, there are other ways that you can look at it, but here's the transcription. So you can see, word for word, someone has typed that out. Now, I usually go through this and just make sure that it's, reads legitimately you know sometimes what you say verbally can look really odd in words so I always always go through the the text file um and just make sure that there's no spelling errors or that they've got the um you know they've said they've thought that it's one word and it's not <laughs> um but I usually turn these into workable content then so for example we're using teachable for our um training academy and um, so what I'm doing is once we upload the video, I turn this into content that if someone wants to read it rather than watch it, or sometimes people want to read it at the same time as watching it, um, I turn this into the how-to part. So I add some bits in here, I give them something to do as part of that uh, particular challenge or whatever it is you're getting them to do. And that then is what I copy and paste into the, the text with the video. So I always use that, um, that script. Like I say, the SRT file, it, you might not be able to open that, but you don't really need to. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back into Movavi Video Editor. So let me open, uh, sorry, the, the Movavi Converter. What we're going to do is uh, open the video back into here. No, thank you. And you don't even need to go into the video if you don't want to. You can click edit and go into the screen that we saw yesterday. But I'm going to go here, all right? It says no subtitles. I want to add subtitle. So I'm going to go and find my SRT file. Open that up. And that's now going to put the subtitles over my video, okay? Now you can choose all these different options. I'm not going to play with them. I'm not going to mess with that. <clears throat> now, I, what I do want, because at the moment it's probably selected still on sound, I want to select the video that I want it to, the quality of the video that I want to export. So I'm going to export it as its original file in high definition. Um, saving it to my desktop. I'm going to click convert. So that now has added the subtitles to my video. And so you can see how fast this is. Once you've bought the software, once you've gone and got your um, your files from Rev, you really are, this takes literally minutes to get your video up there, put your subtitle on, export it, done. There you go. So now I'm gonna open up my video. Hello and welcome to day one of this incredible challenge. Now the whole point of this challenge this week, this five day sprint, is that you're going to be giving yourself some time off. There you go, see? So it's added those subtitles, I haven't had to do anything else. Like I say, you get your videos ready, you get your SRT files ready, boom, you're done. If you're creating a series of something, you know, I mean, literally in two minutes, I can go through, if I get all of my um, files um, ready, I can literally go through and in about two minutes, I can have subtitles on every single one of my files and I can be already uploading them. So whilst it might sound like a complicated process, once you've actually got everything in place, you're just going to go zip, 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 and it'll be really, really fast. If you've got any questions, let me know and uh, put them below this video and I will answer them as quickly as I can for you. What I would say is there's some great tutorials in Mavavi. If you just Google 
um, whatever it is the question that you want to know with Mavavi on the end of that or um, in YouTube there's also some videos in YouTube and also with Rev as well but Rev is so easy to use it's brilliant it's got a great um, customer focused interface so it's very easy uh, just make sure that you click closed captions or captions so that you also get your subtitle um, file as well as your transcript as well. So have fun with your videos. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you've got any questions, like I say, put them below and I will see you in the group.